My name is Lisa Lloyd and the majority of my adventures are um, swimming. So swimming in the sea, across channels um, from England to France, um, Spain to Morocco um, and generally around the Lidos around the UK and uh, wherever I can find water. <laughs> Um, found realised that I'd stopped all my adventurous lifestyle when I moved to London and was out drinking too much and um, never in on an evening and stopped everything so started swimming again and um, joined a master's club um, but got really annoyed of being indoors I hated um, being indoors all the time so started doing some outdoor swimming in a wetsuit um, and it was around the time that companies such as Human Race started putting on events. Um, so more and more events started popping up around London in, in the Thames, up in Windsor, um, Dorney Lake, um, in the sea, down in Bournemouth. And you could do anything from 750 metres, I think, to a 3K at the time. And then um, over time, I started realising I didn't have to wear a wetsuit and I signed up to do a channel relay. So six of us swim from England to France which was um, at the time felt really exciting and then a friend of mine died of, of breast cancer and at her funeral um, I decided completely randomly that I'd swim the channel on my own before I'd even experienced it as a relay so that sort of brought on lots of ways of finding training exciting so I swam two-way Windermere which is 21 miles uh, me and a friend went and swam in Lake Zurich um, swam down the Thames and the sea, um, everywhere really, um, swam from Europe to Asia and then after my solo channel crossing in 2015, um, in 2016 me and a friend went and swam from Spain to Morocco. So um, yeah, lots of training in Lidos and sea and lakes and um, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Anna Marie and how I introduce myself depends who I'm talking to. I either say that I'm an endurance athlete with a passion for coaching or I'm a performance coach with an endurance habit. During my training, during kind of the build-up and the, the year is different the way it's structured um, and I'm, you know, at the moment I'm going through a build-up phase and the volume and the intensity of the training, it, it does wipe me out. So last week I was up in Snowdon running up and down Snowdon, which it was just be it was so beautiful being up there um, and I literally set off at half past seven in the evening when everyone else was pretty much gone and I had the mountain to myself and just being able to be up there on my own in that space was I know the sense of freedom and just being in the mountains was I find it really special um, and then in a way coming back to reality and having the five-hour drive back south it Kind of, it's it's it is it is tough mentally as well, and sometimes it's harder kind of coming back to the everyday um, and making that division. And you know, since then, my body has been completely battered, um, just lying. It, it, you know, every, everything does hurt, um, and there are times when you think, oh, is it is it worth it? And there is an element of sacrifice as well. I put a lot of myself into my training, into my racing, and you do miss out on other things, um, partly because I'm so tired a lot of the time. Um, and sleep is probably my second favorite hobby. <laughs> so I think um, in terms of um, cities limiting adventure, um, London's got much better for it over the last 10 years. You see people now swimming in, random ponds in some of the parks you see people um, going and swimming the serpentine for example and now there's organized events for people to do that so if people don't feel comfortable doing it themselves there's an opportunity to go and have your own adventure in the serpentine for example in the middle of Hyde Park but as part of an organized event um, ponds in Richmond Park where people will go and swim um, the Thames and if you read the laws you can actually by law swim in the Thames from Putney upstream um, and there's a group that swims a couple of times a month um, from around Hammersmith Bridge up the Thames so there's great groups and it's just a matter of finding them and quite often if for example if you're interested in swimming just by going to a local Lido you then find those groups who are going off and doing adventures and sometimes it takes them to a day trip somewhere instead but um, I think we have a lot of green space in London and there's plenty of opportunity to have opportunity to be able to go and whether it's camp or run or um, 
swim, <laughs> that there's an, there's an adventure to be had. I think to be an endurance athlete, it's, it's kind of a case of what is endurance? You know, what does endurance mean to you? And there's kind of complete levels. It's like adventure, you know, what is adventure? What is endurance? What is, yeah, what is courage? What is, what is anything? You know, what do you want it to be? Because I've never considered myself as an endurance athlete. I'm just Anna who goes running. Um, and it's been a really gradual journey for me. You know, I did my first marathon back in 2004, the London Marathon, which is the entry point for a lot of people. And then I kind of slowly, slowly, slowly went longer and then multi-day. And I do Diabol and Triathlon as well. And it's the long that I en enjoy. It's getting into that rhythm and that kind of motion. But you know, what is an endurance athlete? I don't know. <laughs> I do find it interesting that mental kind of challenge of when you have been running for 17 and a half hours and you're pushing the pace and you start hallucinating and I was doing an event down on the Jurassic Coast which is kind of three marathons back to back and I'd been leading the race pretty much from the start which I still can't quite believe I don't quite understand it almost and I was running down the beach and there were hyenas running next to me and I clearly my brain was going there can't be hyenas this is impossible but I was looking and my eyes were telling me there, there are hyenas they're chasing me and you kind of realize at that some point you're like okay we're, we're kind of pushing it here I can be completely grumpy and totally negative um and sometimes just the black cloud comes down and you can't see your way out of it. Um, and that's, you know, my husband is so super supportive. He, he's kind of like, he balances me out massively. Um, but it's, it is, it's, it's, it comes down to the people that you surround yourself as well. And there is that old adage, you know, you look at your seven closest friends and who are they? Cause it's a reflection of yourself. Um, and that's, you know, partly what draws me into the running community and into the adventure community is the positivity that is there and the support and compassion that everyone has and the inspiration as well and I find so much inspiration in the women that I meet and what they're going out and doing whether that is just literally getting off off the couch and going and doing a 5k if they've never done it before or is doing something slightly longer and crazier than you know that first half marathon that marathon then actually I've done a marathon and maybe I can go and do an ultra and just testing themselves and particularly when you know people have got like jobs working all hours or they've got young children and you know family commitments juggling that and working around that it really is amazing and there is always that excuse oh, i don't have time or i haven't got enough money and it's you can make time if, if you want to do something you can always make time <laughs>